Hello everyone. This video is about managing the navigation on the Pulse theme. So we are going to analyze how to manage and how to change this uh, the whole section here that that contains the logo and the menu and some icons here on the near the menu if if you decide to use them. So from your dashboard, click on theme options and let's select the header section. And we have some some options here, which are uh, related with, with this whole section, obviously. And um, the first option is, is uh, allows you to decide if you want the, the header bar and the, the elements to align with the content. So basically, we are deciding if if you if on smaller, sorry, if on wider screens, if the logo will will be still aligned with the um, with the center area content, or if it will go to the sides. Uh, I cannot do that test here now because of the the, um, the size of the window to record the video. But basically, this is what this option does. Uh, there's also here an important option which will be uh, responsible for triggering the mobile mode. So you can say that from 900 pixels and under, it will be it will activate the mobile mode. So this will give you total flexibility of or. Um, of how much pixels do you want before it goes to mobile mode. So when we scale here to test it, at this moment we have it set up to 900 pixels. And you can see here under the view, the window size and the viewport size. So when we reach to 900 pixels, it goes to, to responsive mode. Uh, so, and that's what this, this option does. Let me put the, the video back to, to the size that it had. Um, and the, also, there's here the the option to to tweak the header bar, the the background and the height of this this bar here, and you can make it uh, totally transparent, which is what we have here, and and decide the color of the the bar and the border. And also the menu position, you can show the menu on the right or on the left, um, and uh, you can also you have three ways to show the um, the menu one of them is the, what what i call the the regular way which you can see uh here on on this demo so the menu is uh, is showing all all the content and it's it's within the um, the header bar and you have the the hidden or hamburger menu mode which you can see here on this demo which basically instead of showing the menu buttons it shows this button and when you click on it you will see the the navigation, and you can also opt to don't to don't display any menu, which you can you can see on this this other demo here. You don't have any menu here on top, so this you have these three ways of, of uh, showing the menu, and you can also have, have the menu hide after you scroll down, and you can also see that here on this uh, demo here, the agency demo. If you see carefully, you, you'll see that when you scroll down, the menu will, will disappear, and when you start scrolling up, it appears again. So that's what this, this option does. Then you have here um, different ways to, or, or different options to completely customize the parent menu button style. Uh, so there's a lot of options here. I'm not going through all of them, but they have to do with the, with the font size, with, with spacing, and with colors. And um, you have the same type of options for the sub for the sub menus. If you are going to have sub menus, um, you can customize everything here. And um, before we we end up this this video, I want to tell you that if if you I'm sure you you've noticed it, but uh, you'll see that uh, uh, on the theme you we the menu has two states usually, or or on, on a lot of demos the menu has two states. So this is the initial state, and when you scroll down. The menu has has a second state on where you can have a different logo and different colors here for the buttons and also different um, background opacity. Uh, so and this is this is what I call the, the the after scroll style and this is you can turn on or off this um, this feature and uh, if you have it on uh, you can decide how many pixels before the menu changes style and. Uh, Set up also the menu height, the menu background opacity, and the colors, like like I just told you. So, the menu has these these two states. And here on top, you are you are setting up 
the, the default state or the state before you scroll. But uh, after you scroll, if you are going to have a different style, you can change that here um, after. Um, and I just want to tell you one final thing, which has to do with the menu content itself. And that is that on, for, on all pages, you can, um, you can show a different menu or, or set up a specific menu. This is handy if you are going to have uh, multiple demos or host multiple demos on the same WordPress installation or, or instead of multiple demos, I, I mean multiple pages with different content. And if you want to have independent menus, you can also do that. And when you are setting up a page, you, you'll see that you have some options under the page content. And uh, you can choose here. The first option is the, the top menu or the, or the main menu. And you can select a custom menu for this specific page if you want here. And two final notes before we close this video. So once again on theme options, header section, um, you have here the um, social network links that you can put, uh, select and, and put your links here. So basically you select the social network and and you place the link here and these these icons will appear here on the near the menu and also the um, after the social networks you also have the option to append the search icon to the menu that you can see also here on the on this demo you can turn this this uh, search icon on or off here and we haven't talked about the the logo itself uh, and here is one of those examples where you have two logos, one before you scroll and the other after you scroll. And this is managed. It's not on the header section. It, I, I, we put it in the, into a different uh, tab. So it's on the branding tab. And uh, just like the menu, you can put the logo, uh, show the logo on the left or on the right. And here is where you have the logo before you scroll, the normal version and retina version if you want to, to use it. You can set, you can define the logo top margin. So these are all the state or the logo state before you scroll. So it's here before you scroll this, this state. And after you can use a different logo if you want, normal version or retina version, and also have a different uh, margin after you scroll for the logo. So this will give you total flexibility in terms of how the logo shows here and uh, how it shows after when, when you scroll down, you can adjust everything and also the Favicana image if you want to use it. Um, and as far as navigation goes, I think that's all. Thank you very much for watching.